All right, guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at designing a foam stand in Fusion 360. This will kind of serve as a basics tutorial in using Fusion 360 as well. Uh, but anyway, I've got this little phone here it is the stand that we're going to be designing it for. And not too long ago, I made a stand for my Galaxy S7 Edge that I could actually put the phone in either way. So I could have portrait mode or landscape. And that's kind of the plan with this as well. Um, anyway, this is a much smaller phone. should be a little bit easier to print. Um, with any luck, the position of this camera shot won't get in the way too badly of the Fusion 360 stuff. That's uh, That was the best spot that I could find to put it. So anyway, we're going to start this off. We're going to click on uh, create a sketch up here, and we're going to start on this plane, it doesn't really matter uh, which plane you start off on. It's just going to kind of change what the bottom is. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I'm going to start off drawing basically the outline of the phone. So I've got the uh, really cheap pair of digital calipers here, which will do good enough for this, especially considering how accurate 3D printers are. Uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and show you the measurements that I'm going to do, and then I'll put them on Fusion. But I'm going to measure the entire length of the phone, which is 4.856 inches. So we're just going to say, we're going to put 4.86 into Fusion. So we'll go back to this. And I'm actually going to go ahead and draw a rectangle. And we'll make this side 4.86. And we'll lock that. If you hit tab after you put in the value, it locks the value, which is kind of useful. And then uh, going this direction, I want the thickness of this entire phone, which is kind of a thick phone. but. Uh, and it looks like the thickest point is actually going to be where this case is at, so we're going to have to accommodate for that. So it's about 0.516. We'll say 0.52 should be good. All right, so that is a basic outline of this phone when it's in the, uh, the landscape orientation. So now what I'm going to do is put an outline around this that will be the outside wall, essentially. So first off, i got to figure out how far I want to come into the phone. And it looks like, in terms of there will be like a claw in front of it, kind of. And I'm just going to line this up to the best of my ability here to this thing. So we can probably go about a quarter of an inch pretty easily without much worry about uh, covering up any of the screens, so should we probably go quite a bit more than that if we wanted to. We'll make it 0.3, that should be good. So I'm going to come into this 0.3 inches. I'm going to go out by the thickness of the wall, which will be 0.08, as it's already uh, decided that it wants to put there. Then we'll take this one, and a nice trick with these uh, modeling softwares, you can actually do math in these little dimension boxes. So you can put plus 0 0.08. I'll do the same thing as just typing it in, which probably would have been easier in that uh, instance anyway, because you could just take the uh, cursor and put an 8 right here. And I'll do the same thing, but we're going to keep going around the outside of this, lining it up with that plus 0 0.08 that and this one will be this far plus our point three inches and then we'll put that there so that makes the outer sort of claw thing that will hold the phone in this direction. Now, what I want to do is find the center point of this and we'll start drawing off of that. 
go in this direction, and then we'll find the width of the phone for the stand that's going to hold it this direction. So we'll do the width, about 2.53 we'll say. Actually, I'll check the bottom as well just to make sure. Hopefully I can keep this somewhat in the shot. So yeah, 2.53 should probably be good. Maybe 2.54 just to give a little bit of room in the 3D printer. I don't know, I think 2.53 will be good. Uh, with my printer, it seems to actually print things slightly larger anyway, so... We're going to go ahead and do 2.53, and we're going to divide that by 2, since we want to start at the center point. And then we'll do that again. Coming from the end of that line, 2.53 divided by 2. I'll take that, and then... Whatever I said the thickness was here, which is 0.52. Oh, and it's already uh, picked up on that too. We can line it up with this dot, and that makes <clears throat> the back of the phone holder essentially. And I've got to do the same thing as before and kind of stretch this out by 0.08. It doesn't look like I'm covering up uh, too much with the camera shot there, so that's good. So we're going to come out on this, 0.08. Come up here and take this number, plus 0.08. Come over. 0.1 might actually be a little bit better for this too, by the way. The printer, at least my printer, doesn't really like to handle these really thin walls, but I I think I pretty much got it sorted out from the last time I printed one of these. But anyhow, going on with this, I probably don't want those little uh, claws sticking out quite as far because this is going to be... Yeah, we can go about 0.15 inches pretty easily and that won't cover up any of the screen. So coming from the inside of the phone, we're going to go over 0.15. We're going to come down here, 0.15, and down here. And now, what we're going to do is I'm going to hit the T button, which will bring up the trim tool, and I'm going to cut out this line and this line, all that stuff. So that makes the basic 2D shape. And the next thing we'll do... Let's see, I think I can just leave this pretty much the way that it is. Uh, but I'm going to go back into the uh, line drawing tool, which keyboard shortcut for that's L, really useful shortcut to have. I'm going to line up with this. I'm going to do that to it so that it's not uh, quite so big, I won't use quite so much plastic. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with this when we extrude it. Oops. Then we'll come out this direction. Let's go 0.15 over here as well. Basically just making this thing symmetrical, which I could have probably done this with a mirror tool as well. Uh, but anyhow, that's all that stuff. Now we're going to go into extruding this now. There is a button down here that says stop sketch, by the way. It's behind the, uh, the camera, unfortunately. But I'm just going to hit the E button, which will bring up extrude all on its own. So I'm going to extrude this, 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 and these two up to roughly half of the height of the phone. And I'm, I'm going to end up cutting like a hole for the charger probably as well. Uh, but anyway... We go half the height of the phone, which is going to be. I should we go a little less than half the height of the phone. We can do like two inches even. It should be good enough. So we'll go up by two inches. Hit enter. And we can actually go back into our sketch one now. Hit extrude again and get these two little ones. And we'll say three quarters of an inch on those should be good. Uh, that just gives a little bit more strength. 
All right, so that is the basic phone holder outline. Now I also want this to sit at an angle, a little bit of an angle. So what we can do now is we can create a sketch and we can create it on the uh, one of these surfaces here, one of these sides. We're going to create it on this one. And what we're going to do is take a, uh, we're going to draw a line first off. And we're going to start on this corner and we're going to come up at whatever angle we want, I think, say 20 degrees might be. Well, I should just go 15. It's going to be on like a bed stand. So we go 15. I'll hit tab, which will lock the 15 degrees in. And we're going to finish off this triangle like so. Then we're going to hit our E button, which is the extrude. And we're going to take both of these and just cut it all the way back through the model, like so. So now we have this with no base, essentially. And this will be, this will tilt at a nice angle. And then we're going to add, we'll go back to sketch two. I think we can do that. We'll go back to sketch two here and we'll, we will add a base to this. To our line tool, we're going to come in here. We're going to make the 0.08. It's just the thickness that I'm using for everything here. And we're going to lock the 15 degrees and come out a little ways with this. So we might go out by two inches because this is going to need some support. Like so, and we'll come down at 90 degrees. And the 0.08 is already in there. And we'll do that just like so. And then we'll extrude these three all the way back through the shape as well. But this time, and we'll go to however long this was. And we can get in here real close and get it just perfect. But I'm gonna change this over here instead of uh, Let's see here, where is that? Instead of cut, we're going to join, which, yeah, hopefully you can see that. So if we join that, that gives us the base, which is actually, it's probably going to be a little bit long for, well, maybe not. That doesn't look too bad. Two inches might be a hair long, but it's not going to be too bad when we hit enter here. That takes care of everything. I'm not sure. You'll notice that it actually did... Uh, it put the stuff back on the bottom there before I hit enter. I'm not sure what the deal with that is, but whatever. It'll be all right. Uh, it does, it's hard to get this thing, hard to get an idea what this looks like because you can't actually get it to tilt back down with that angle. But uh, anyway, back to continuing this design. I'll come over here. I'll put a hole for the charger just in case because the, charger, the charging port on this thing's on the side. So uh, it's not very high up. The center of it is about 1.53. So we're going to create another sketch. We're going to do it on this uh, piece of the solid here. Then the bottom of the phone will sit uh, kind of Unfortunately, I can't really rotate this thing, but we're going to make this hole plenty big enough to uh, be able to get the charge cable in there. So we're going to start sketching some lines. And I think we're going to go from that corner and come up by our roughly 1.5 or 1.35. Like so. And then this will provide the center. And really it's quite high up there. I can almost just leave a big slot right here, which might actually work quite well. If I just put a big 
slot in that instead of messing with trying to put everything in there perfectly. Uh, the port, I think if we went 0.1 on either side, it would be good. So we'll do that. 0 0.1, 0 0.1 again. And I will just cut the slot out so it's all the way on the top. And the advantage to doing that, or you get the advantage of having, uh, like you don't have to unplug it to put it in here, which is actually kind of a feature. So we'll do that, and then we're going to have to come down a decent ways as well. We'll probably go 0.3 should be enough. Now let's go 0.35. Right across there. You see you get those little dotted blue lines that actually help you out quite a bit in terms of drawing this thing. Then we'll come back to the trim tool, get rid of the lines that we don't need. Which is a lot of them. And actually I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to sketch a three-point arc. So if I come in here and do that, that'll just round it off, make it look a little nicer. And we'll come back to the extrude function. We'll come in here and we will just knock this back. Like so, then that gives us our hole in order to charge the thing. Now we do have a headphone jack on this phone. Um, I could put cutouts for that. If I wanted to, I'd, have, I'd put the cutouts in uh, these two areas here. But I don't really want to because the Headphone jacks kind of, it's not centered, and I'd like to have one hole and make the design somewhat symmetrical, though it wouldn't really matter. The thing is, it's never really going to get used, so. All right, so I've got that slot cut. I also want to cut into this thing on the top and make this uh, angle symmetrical. If you know what I'm saying here, I'll show you. Actually, let's not do a new sketch. Let's do... Go back to sketch two. And if I take a line and draw it from here down, I think I need to take 180, 180 plus 15. Yeah. So 165 degrees there. Like so. And then we'll extrude this all the way through, just like it did before, and cut this back. And then the top of this will actually sit flat. Um, that also considers that Fusion 360 doesn't completely uh, crash. Uh, so yeah, Fusion 360, not entirely reliable. If we come over into Task Manager here, that's not Task Manager, this is Task Manager. Uh, let's see here, yeah, it's just starting to use a whole bunch of CPU power and it's frozen up and I've let it sit here before, it never fixes itself. So we're going to click on End Task. Though Fusion 360, good news about it is it does have autosave and it'll come up with a little box, or should come up with a little box saying that you have models that need to be reloaded or something to that effect, yeah, right here, and we can say open. And there we go, it only lost that last little bit of work that I did to it. Okay, so yeah, let's try that, let's put this on a new sketch, instead of using that same one again. So anyway, line tool. Hopefully this actually works, third time's charm, right, 165. Line that up there, line this up here, this will go over to here. Like so, extrude it, and that did select it as one piece instead of two different ones, so it's definitely on a different sketch. And then that should, as long as it goes all the way through, we click on OK. There we go, maybe that was a problem. That fixed it though, nonetheless. Alright, so that makes the basic outline of the phone holder. I don't really like how that turned out. It's not centered. 
Well, it's centered from this standpoint. It's not centered from looking at it on the inside, though. I think I'm going to modify this. So the great thing is we can do that. If we go back to sketch three, I'm going to take the line tool and we're going to put this 0.08 in, 0.08 in further so it takes into the account, it takes into account the thickness of the outside of this. And we'll put that there. And I'm not going to finish that. I'm actually going to cut these out. It's probably going to come up with a bunch of warnings and errors. Uh, but then we can redraw our three-point arc. So it doesn't look centered from the outside now. Stop sketch. And yeah, it automatically re-extruded that. So it's all good there. But that centers it here which will make it a little bit easier to work with so anyhow now we're going to start doing a bit more design work with this thing on now i could go ahead and stick the hole for the headphone jack in here if i really wanted to but i don't think i would end up making it symmetrical i could actually cut slots like this all the way around the thing but that would kind of weaken it slightly so i'm not going to put the headphone jack in there i don't think it'll ever get used anyway all right so putting fillets on things will make them look a lot better and it'll get rid of these sharp edges and when you're trying to 3d print objects especially becomes very important because you can actually gain some strength by filleting things. So if I come over here. And we'll put a decent bit on this. Remember this little view cube up here is your friend. We'll put uh, I liked where that was, 0.2 inches, that's good. And also, the way that I'm dragging this around, if you can't tell, I'm pushing the uh, mouse wheel down and dragging it, so that's how I'm moving this around, just between turning it with the view cube up here and moving around with the mouse wheel. Pretty useful, and of course the zoom is just the mouse wheel as well. So, now we're gonna go ahead and fill up some more stuff, because we can do all these top edges. Might not fill up these a huge amount, but we'll just do it enough to make them look slightly better. Just to round all the edges off. So that looks good. I actually should have done these two to the same depth. Can't really go much past that, can I? Max I can do is 0.08, so Otherwise, it starts to cut into this, so that's what we're going to use. Doesn't matter too much anyway. I'm also going to come in here and do all of these inside edges. Should do these outside ones at the same time, or some of the outside ones. I'm not going to do all of the outside ones right now. All right, then we can pull these out just a hair. Like 0.08 is the most I can really do on this, which should be plenty, and it shouldn't interfere with anything on the phone, hopefully. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and change this up a little bit. I'm going to go into, I'm going to get rid of that camera shot because you don't really need it at this point. We will come around. We're going to fill it all of these corners. Probably not a lot, but. I 
I think I should be able to get this too. And I'll do these ones along with them to the same distance. And just bring them in to the point where it looks good here is kind of what I'm doing. It should probably be 0.16. Possibly. 0.175. Let's see what 0.16 looks like. Yeah, I think that's the perfect one because these are 0 0.08 on the inside. I think 0.16 should be the right because it's 0 0.08 radius here and then 0 0.8 thickness and then 0 0.16 on the outside makes sense. At least I think it makes sense. Now. We can do these edges. Actually, I missed a fillet right there. This one looks like point 0.1. Looks like it matches the other one there, I think. Yeah. I also need to get these. Quite a lot of edges on this design. 0.16 should be the right. I think, yeah, that's good. And we're going to take this, we'll do this, and this one, this one, and let's see. Maybe just this, kind of, sort of, and this edge too, actually. If I set this to 0 0.04, we should have a nice rounded edge, 0.04, hopefully, maybe I can't go 0 0.04, 0 0.03, what is this? Problem combining geometries together. 0.025 maybe. That looks pretty decent if it works. I apparently can't go 0.04 like I thought I could. 0.03 doesn't seem to work either, but 0.025 seems good. All right. And then we have two more fillets to do. We've got this inside edge. We actually have this one as well. Actually, it looks like, oh, whoops. I missed an edge there before I do that. This one needs to be 0 0.025. And does the one on the other side need it too? No, the other one got it good. All right. And then this edge needs to be like point. 0 0.04, 0 0.05. I want that one to be decent because when you're 3D printing stuff, that uh, bottom fillet actually makes quite a big difference in the strength when you're coming from a flat surface onto the uh, sort of wall type structure. So we'll make that one maybe a little bit bigger. I think that won't hurt anything if we have it at uh, 0.075. And we can also add the back one on. Can I select more? Maybe not. Might not be able to select more, but we can do it separately. 0.075. So then we have both of those fillets. And this is looking pretty good so far. Now with this phone, it's got uh, a case on it, so the buttons are already kind of recessed by the case. Actually, I need to go back. I'm trying to show stuff to the camera. I don't have the camera up. I'll actually do this. All right, so with this uh, phone, it's got a case on it. So when you put this down into uh, landscape mode, it's going to, uh, the buttons aren't going to hit the plastic. So the buttons are already kind of recessed so they don't hit. So that's, uh, that's good for us because we don't have to put a slot in the bottom of our 
I'm going to have to put a slot in the bottom of this in order to keep the buttons from getting pushed. So that's about all there is to this design anyway. What we can do now is I should actually save this. We're going to save this into... I actually don't know what kind of phone this is, like a Droid Mini or something. Droid Mini. And we'll save it. This is already in the location where I was going to save it, so that's good. And oh, there's an untitled thing over here. Now what we can do is right-click on this and we can save it as an STL. And we should get a little thing that pops up over here, theoretically. Yeah, there we go. So anyway, uh, we're just going to send this over to Repertier Host, say OK. And it'll open up in Repertier Host. And we'll see what this thing looks like over here. So obviously this is my 3D printing software. I think I need to put this by 75 to get it flat. Yeah. And there you can see the angle that it's tilted at. Because that it's just hard to get Fusion 360 to do an angle like that for some reason. And oddly enough, this, this actually needs to be modified so it doesn't have that. So we can fix that though, I think. Sketch number two. I should have put this line at an angle that matches. Actually, it should be right. Eh, maybe not. Anyway, I gotta change this line to be at a bit of an angle. So it should be, I think, 75 degrees. And then 0.08. Maybe not 0.08. What's the distance between these two? this line that's that's 0.08 if you like it at 75 degrees it's gonna be just a little bit longer apparently well it shouldn't be hold on let's do that and then continue this line up like that which is really ugly but we can trim it off like so and that should change on its own if we hit stop sketch over here yeah, that fixes that. Except I need to redo the fillets that are that were on that. So these were 0.16, I'm pretty sure. Point one six should do it good. Yeah. Now we'll do this again. Go ahead and close out a Repetier hose because it opens a new window every time, which is kind of annoying, but save as STL. It takes a second for it to render that apparently. There we go, we'll say OK. And we will rotate this 75 degrees in the X direction. And there we go, that fixed that. So a nice straight line there. Got the nice fillets going all over the place, really. <laughs> it's got a bit of an angle to it. It should do pretty good. I think the base is big enough to the point where it'll hold up on the sound. This phone's not really that big and it's not really that heavy, so I think it will work just fine. And just out of curiosity here, we'll go and slice this and see how much filament it's going to take. And about 10 meters worth, two hour print time, so that's not too bad. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that finishes this. We're going to go ahead and manually save it, uh, just because I like to do it. it. It does auto save, and I don't think, well, I think it auto saves like every time you do something, actually. But user save, we're going to call this the final version. So, that's manually saved now. So, anyway. Hopefully you guys found that useful. It's a kind of, I think it's kind of an ingenious phone mount because you can put it uh, both directions. And when the phone's in landscape mode in this area, it actually uses the portrait mount as a sort of support. So I don't think I've actually seen a phone stand like this. It probably exists, 
But anyway, that's how you design them. And the only thing left to do now is to print it. So uh, anyway, hopefully you guys found that useful. Uh, enjoyed it. Kind of a basic crash course in Fusion 360. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's it for now, guys. Bye.